Welcome back, Tater Tots, to another new episode of Haywood Gardens. So, it looks like Kayla Bator says, Hey, beautiful, I'm in the mood. Want to spend some time together? <laughs> and it is a Friday afternoon. Oh, it's gone. I thought it would stay if I paused it. That's depressing. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to another new day here at the Haywood home. So Layla is having a rough time. It was raining and we noticed because ever since Patchy's gone, no one has been able to spend much time over here in her garden to weed and take care of everything. So several plants have just straight out died. And so we've got some serious weeding that we are going to need to take care of. So I think we're going to spend the rest of her work um, afternoon until her shift is over just taking care of the garden. So I will meet you guys back after we take care of that. Hey beautiful, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Can you come over here and keep me company? So, okay guys, we literally just finished. So we are going to go over and visit Caleb. So yeah, I know. I just like abruptly came back on. <laughs> I know guys, right? I think we're going to have to have Layla talk to Caleb about where he got Patchy from because yeah, this is just like way too much effort for her to take care of this many plants on her own. So we have arrived and yes guys, I know. I'm sorry. I left this inventory up and you're like looking at it like, oh my gosh, you need to get rid of that. And guys, you know what? I know. I know. So yeah, Caleb is feeling a bit lonely. Oh, did you see how she greeted him? Oh, hey Layla, we'd love to have you join. No, we're not joining anything. We're with our man right now. But yeah, so Layla is over here visiting her boy. Oh, look at him. He is feeling suave. Girl, you get it. Oh, they are getting flirty. They are seriously so cute. Also, I think I need to turn down my sound on here because, like, it's really loud. So we will do voices, sound effects, master volume. I think, yeah, we need to bring this, like, way down. Object music. Yeah, turn that down, too and turn this music down. Okay, let's let's see. That should make it better, I think. Okay, guys. So, yeah, we are just spending some time here with Caleb and I think guys, it might be the time. <laughs> they might finally woohoo. And you know she has been wanting it schedule a date. So she wants to schedule a date with him. So should we go ahead and do it on this wonderful evening? Um, let's see. We will sweet talk him and let's see, can we ask him if, ooh, let's ask if, no, that's, that's too personal. That's too soon. <laughs> I'm getting too excited, guys. Okay, there has to be a ask on date. Am I just missing this? Give romantic, um, so much woohoo, super romantic compliment. Let's, let's give him that. How's he gonna feel about it? Let's watch. Oh, I think he liked it. The more I learn about you, the I was reading that. The more I learn about you, the more I fall. Also, guys, I'm having to talk like quieter because it's super early in the morning and my husband is still asleep because he works night shifts. <laughs> so I don't want to wake him up. And so I'm trying to be secretive and quiet but you know I'm just you know we're still gonna enjoy because you know guys I'm gonna get excited at some point especially if you know we get them to woohoo it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big day so okay like can I not ask him out like just in person like that's kind of agitating but okay it looks like she practiced pickup lines in a mirror she just straight out just like whipped it out and kissed him oh it says date date or just like I don't know I don't know Okay, I don't know who just dropped off a bike and just like left over there. Anyways, um, so it looks like maybe we are on a date because we are like together like that. Okay, okay, how's she doing on her needs? Let's see. Okay, she's actually doing quite well. And so I think we are going to, let's have him come up here. We need to get away from Lilith. She is always 
always up in our grill and last time we tried this guy she like straight up interrupted us and so I think we need to spend you know some quiet peaceful private oh my gosh every single time Lilith is just there like Caleb is like out like oh my gosh Lilith you are a little saboteur 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 I, I, I don't know is that the right word <laughs> but anyways this girl like is straight up just ruining it. like I don't think we're ever going to be able to do it here at his house as long as she's living here like I just don't think that's going to work but look at them just they're just spending so much time together and just being so flirty and oh He's talking about a mystery. But anyway, so Layla is like, Caleb, I need to talk to you. So unfortunately, uh, Patchy, he got struck by lightning and he no longer happens to exist. Caleb's like, are you serious? Like, I am so sorry, Layla. That's super unfortunate. He's laughing at her. But he's like, she's like, where, you know, where did you get Patchy from? Like, it'd be really helpful to get another one and he's like you know what Layla don't worry about it I'll I'll get you another one it, it, it's no big deal so uh, Layla is relieved to know that oh what's happening feeling smitten just seeing a sim can set the heart a flutter hot and heavy Ooh, let's do it again <gasps> Layla remembers that date she went on recently do they have any sentiments <gasps> sentiments about Caleb smitten Layla can't explain it, but she is really enamored with Caleb and the sight of him makes Layla's heart beat faster. <laughs> Guys, this is exciting. I'm excited about this whole sentiment thing. Like, I haven't really gotten to mess with it much. Gosh, why do I keep going to my inventory? That is not <laughs> what I was trying to do. I wanted to see what it said. Young adult, master vampire. He is a criminal at Mob Wives. A criminal. Um, okay. <clears throat> I don't remember looking into that, but perhaps I did. So let's see. Let's express our fondness for him. And let's uh, see. Um, let's find out. I feel like ask for reassurance. Ask Caleb's personality type. Um, ask about Caleb's income. I don't know. Like we're just trying to make conversation. Oh, honestly, I'm very rich. <laughs> wow. This boy's not very subtle, is he? So that's pretty funny. <laughs> I didn't know they would say that. Um, well, okay, guys, we're just going to do it. She's just going in hard. Ask if Caleb wants kids. You want kids, homeboy? Let's see. What does he say? What does he say? I'm open to the idea of having kids. Oh, man, they're getting deep, and Lilith is just over here. Let's check her out. Look, look at her. She's like, Caleb, I know exactly what you're doing. This is so funny. Lay Lay I almost called her Layla. But look, he gave a thumbs down to whatever Lilith suggested. He's like, can she just leave and not be here? So anyways, <laughs> look, even Layla agrees. She's like, we need to get rid of her so we can be alone. So guys, I think that's a cue that perhaps we should you know, ditch this place. So, oh, she is so cute. Ask someone to go steady. I thought she already, like, are they not going steady? Guys, are they not going steady? Like, I swear that we did that. Ask about relationship. Like, I, I swear we've already done this. So, like, what does she mean go steady? You're already going steady with someone, aren't you? Um, I guess we can just ask about relationship. Man, they do not like each other. <laughs> they just keep talking about it. Ask about... I'm glad to have you as my woman. Oh, <laughs> boy. Okay. Okay, so I think we will... I'm going to have to give this one more shot, guys. One more shot. I'm going to have them go here together and see if we can be alone let's have her be enticing boy you better come back upstairs like stop talking to your sister oh my gosh this, why are they making this so difficult i just honestly lilith she seriously sabotages us every time okay you know what we're gonna we're gonna take this date elsewhere so let's see invite to hang out at current lot um, let's travel. Can I not travel because this is technically a date? I guess so. 
I guess so. That is, wow, it gave me the option to poop. I don't remember that being there. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't want her to poop because that might take a long time. So we're just going to have her use the bathroom. And our date, I think, is about to end and be over. She's feeling happy. And you don't know everything. You may know more, but it doesn't mean you are better than me. I'm talking to an INTJ person. I think that is Lilith. Lilith is an INTJ, I'm guessing. Let's, uh, let's ask her her personality type because I want to find out if that's her, if that's why they were having those conversations with her face with the line through it. I am an ENFP type. I am creative and positive. I love writing, art, playing instruments, listening to music, and reading. I am affectionate and believe that I should devote myself to my partner. Oh, be mean to someone. You don't know everything. Get engaged. Oh, girl, she wants to get engaged. We gonna keep that, but oh my gosh. Is it him? Is it him? <gasps> Layla is too angry to do this. OMG. Let me see. Does this tell me on here? Uh, no, it doesn't. Wow, she is... Poor thing. Okay, things are just getting a little... Resume mac and cheese. Was she making mac and cheese? I don't even know. Okay, anyways. Can our date end yet? Like... I'm going to just end this. Okay, so we are going to invite Caleb over to our place, I think, because we need to <laughs> just get away from Lilith. Like, this is just not working. So Layla and Caleb have arrived at her house. And one other thing that Layla has been contemplating and really talking or thinking about not talking about I guess is the fact that she realizes that Caleb was mentioned in Nyla's letter so let me pause this so I can talk to you guys about this so if you remember in the last episode when she was reading Nyla's letter Nyla mentioned that the Vitor family has quite the history so Obviously, Nyla knew something about the Vitors, and so Layla is really intrigued by this, and she appreciates the fact and is super happy that Nyla approves of Caleb and thinks that he's a great person, but she's really curious to know how does Nyla know about much of the Vitor family, and so she's trying to figure out if she should approach Caleb about it and how she wants to, and so... Yeah, we're going to have to kind of decide on that. Also, we have Nyla's cookbook, so I think it's 1.05 in the morning, but you know, I think we're going to try to make something for her and Caleb. Let's see, what are, is there for breakfast? Oh, you have to have cooking level 10? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, there is no available. Okay, because I don't have a grill. That's true, I don't meals okay there's a wonton soup chicken alfredo mac and cheese fried chicken chicken and dumpling pot roast and a sushi tray um i think we'll just do a good old home cooked pot roast so let's see if we can get her to make this we got some meat going on and see because nyla did tell her only make it for those that you love because these are secret recipes let's see if we can get her going come on girl put that in there Oh man, that's going to make me want to roast. That looks so good. Okay, let's um, call to meal and have Caleb come and have a piece. I think he will enjoy that quite a bit. And let's have them have dinner. All right, so they are sitting together and Layla's like, so Caleb, I, I told you about my letter I got from Nyla and how, you know, she mentioned to me that she approved of you actually and he's like oh seriously like that's that's really cool like I'm, I'm glad that she she likes me and Layla's like well she mentioned that your family the Vitor family has uh, uh, quite a history he's like oh um well I I've never met Nyla before until I met you so I I don't really have much to say there and 
So she's like, oh, I was just curious if she knew your family or something. He's like, well, I mean, maybe she knows someone else from my family, but it wasn't me, that's for sure. So Layla has found out a little bit more about things with Caleb. And so we're going to have to kind of just, oh, got to feed Rusty. See, you know, maybe we'll have to meet others from his family to see kind of what's uh, what's going on there. And look at him. She took care of the dishes. She's got to feed her boy. And then I think we are going to <gasps> invite him to stay the night. Let's see. Is he going to accept? <gasps> A sleepover sounds great. Layla is thrilled. Oh my gosh, she is straight up dying. Look at her eyes. This poor thing. Okay, girl, we can't make you woohoo looking like that. So I think we are going to go to sleep. Let's see. Sign left side of the bed um, to Layla. And, like, I don't want Michaela to keep being on this, like, bed thing. Like, this is strange to me. Like... <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, anyways, I guess we will just have her go to sleep. She's not wanting to go to sleep. She's just wanting to stay with her boy. She's like, Caleb, I have got to go to bed. He's like, oh, okay, Layla, you know, I'll just, I'll hang out for a little bit. You know, he's a vampire, so, you know, he can probably stay up pretty late. But she is going to go to sleep because she is dead tired. I have to say, I think it's really funny that Caleb is so into cooking. Like, he has been sitting here watching this cooking show for hours. Like, and he keeps laughing and he's thinking about it. So I think this boy wants to be a good cook, which is actually pretty cute. Oh, Caleb is in here bonding with little Rusty while Layla is just finishing up the last bit of her sleep. So it's super cute to see him interacting with Rusty. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he has to poop. He has to poop. Don't you dare poop in here. You better go outside, boy. Go outside. Good boy. And he chooses to do it right on my back patio. Back porch, whatever you want to call it. Wow, great job. Let's put that back in a trash can. My favorite series is about to come on, so I should get home. Thanks for spending time with me. See you later. Oh, he already left before she even got up. That's that's sad. Layla woke up wanting to woo-hoo with her man and feeling it. She is still feeling flirty from yesterday. She's a morning sim, and it's decorated. She's blushing, and she wants to do it again for sure. And what is she reading? She's browsing books, but we need her to... <laughs> I still think it's funny that that poop option is there. Girl, you need to take a cold shower because you need to calm yourself. I don't know why the doors have been staying up. Is that like a new thing since the update? I'm not quite sure. Oh my gosh, guys. Layla just finished doing a flower arrangement of these orchids. And the quality of them is excellent. Okay, first off, it's pristine. It's a masterpiece. This is what her goal was for work today and I had her do these without realizing that it cost like $800 to do them because she doesn't have all the flowers and so it took my, my funds down quite a bit but then look sell for 6,176 simoleons are you kidding me like what my mind is blown right now by this like is this real like I did not know they could like be worth this much so <laughs> we are gonna sell that bad boy OMG I literally did just get 6,000 simoleons that is crazy Martha has messaged Layla to ask her if she would like to come over so we are going to go and visit her mother for a short little while so it is nice for a change to be somewhere different that is not ridiculously rainy. And it's really pretty here, actually. And so, yeah, we are here over at Martha's house. And it looks like Martha is going to make some food. I don't know what she's making, but she's making something. And Layla just wanted to spend some time with her mom and chat with her and just kind of let her know everything that's going on. She's like, Mom, Nyla passed away, and I'm just... 
it's been a really rough road and but I've been spending a lot of time with Caleb still and so um, Martha's like I'm so happy for you Layla and I'm so sorry about Nyla and she has let Layla know that she actually has a gift for her um, that is a picture of her and her parents so we are going to have to get that from her at some point so it looks like she made some garlic noodles, but Layla doesn't really need any right now. But we are going to gush about our partner to her mom and let her know how excited she is about him. And I do want to add her to the group. Let's see. Oh, oh. okay. Her mom apparently is wanting to just work out. So I think we are going to have Layla and her mom come down here and go fishing together. I mean, it's just, she, I mean, why not? There's like this place back here and Layla hasn't really done too much fishing. This is actually really beautiful. I have never really lived or checked out Oasis Springs much. So I might have to do some kind of sim thing here. Oh, and look, there's a dragonfly. Oh, do you guys see that? Oh, that's super cute. Oh, look at her mom's little outfit. I love this. So yeah, looks like they are going to oh, level two of the fishing. She can catch bass, koi, and trout. That's cool. And look at the fish. Oh my gosh, that's like a freaking lantern fish down there. Like that's terrifying. That should only be in the ocean. I don't know why that would be over here in a lake, but I didn't realize that you could actually like see fish in here. Like, do you see that? That's the freaking lantern. Is that a skeleton? There's a freaking skeleton fish in there. Like, <laughs> so interesting, okay. I've never really messed much with fishing, so this is very intriguing. There apparently is a lot of fish over here. So yeah, I think we'll have to see what they can catch. Layla just called a bleep the robot, something completely useless. Layla has called a new fish a goldfish, nothing exciting. Layla called a goldfish worth $7, lame. Layla's mom has literally been sitting here just working out doing push-ups and sit-ups constantly. And Layla has reached level three with fishing. She can use bait to catch bigger, better fish and examine the water near fishing spots, blah, blah, blah. Fish traps, maximum, fish traps, maximum of two in ocean water. I didn't even know that that was like a thing, but yeah, I, <gasps> guys, there are fireflies but I call them lightning bugs because that's what they were called where I grew up but that is the cutest thing oh my goodness oh she caught a fish <gasps> girl you got a fish I'm so proud of her she got a perch worth seven dollars okay we're gonna have her stop fishing and she is just going to hug her mom and just give her a compliment and let's see um, I wanted to give her a hug. Where are the hugs? Let me give a hug. Become best friends. Um, gosh, like, a hug is so far down. So we're going to hug her and just thank her for inviting us and just let her know that, thank you, Mom. I had such a great time. It was great to see you. I'm going to head home. It's getting pretty late. She's like, well, if you need anything, honey, you let me know. I'm, I'm not too far from you. So, yeah, we've had a pretty good day. So, oh, they're hugging again. They're so cute. All right, let's send her on home. Good morning, everyone. And it is officially fall here in Brindleton Bay. And Michaela is going to be having her birthday soon, her 18th birthday. And so I am super excited for her. It is actually on Tuesday, but I think we're going to go ahead and do a birthday party for her early. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I'm sorry. I know a lot didn't really happen in this episode. I had other stuff planned and then, you know, Lilith sabotaged one of them. And then, you know, just the rain, we had to take care of the plants and there was just a lot going on. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we will check back in with Layla and have um, Michaela's birthday party here. So thanks guys for joining me and I will see you next time. Here's about yesterday.